Hey my friends, this is Late Boy Scott, and you guys might remember these. They are the CRKT Nathan's Knife Kit. Conceived of by Nathan Klecker and designed by Glenn Klecker. The wooden knife kit that was very cool and a lot of fun for me and my sons to put together. They each built their own. We brought them home and glued them up so that they would stay together permanently. And they've been some fun toys for them to play with and little training tools as well for them to get familiar with folding knives and know how to be safe with them. But the Kleckers have come up with something new and cool, and that is... The plastic knife kits. This is called the trigger knife kit. Also conceived of by little Nathan Klecker. I, don't, I shouldn't call him little. Nathan, you're probably watching this. You're a big kid, aren't you? and uh, designed by his dad, Glenn. Check those out. Plastic knives that do the exact same thing. They work in the same way. They're lockback knives, just like Nathan's knife kit, but they are plastic instead of wood. And tons of fun. And uh, Bow Shadow, tell me, um, how long did it take me to put that knife together for you? Did I put the knife together for you? Nope. I didn't. Nope. Who put that cool knife together? Me. You? Yeah. Are you telling me you did that all by yourself? Yeah. Okay, Hawkeyes, how long did it take me to put that knife together for you? You didn't put it together. I, I did. Are you, what? Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. Are you telling He's me you did that crazy. by yourself? Mm-hmm. So from start to finish, like you put that whole knife together by yourself? Yeah. Well, it was follow the instructions on the back of these. Oh, what? We got instructions on how to do it? And right now we're going to put together two more of them. We've got uh, some for our little for our little sister, right? Yeah. And we've got a yellow one and a pink one, and we're probably going to mix and match. And we've decided how we're going to mix and match them. And I think the ones that Bow Shadow did, and see mixed and matched them, were super cool. Look at that, all purple. I did it overnight. Yeah. You were supposed to be asleep one night, and instead you started taking your knife apart and putting it back together, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> And the neat thing about these kits is they're real easy to swap back and forth, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you just take one of the handles off, then you, you can, can see, see how it works. Oh, that is really smart. Show us. So we're going to take you start to finish through these two kits right Ooh. here. Show you how they come out of the packages, how you break them out, and how a little kid, 7 and up, can easily put these together with no help from an adult. Okay, go ahead and get them open. Yourself, when you huh? pop them uh, out, you gotta, to trim dead. you gotta... When you're popping the handles and mm -hmm. the yeah, we should trim blade these first. Mm -hmm. You gotta twist them. Oh, you gotta twist them? Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta twist so them around and they automatically so pop they out. So yeah. they do kind of leave these little, these little barbs yeah. on the ends. And if you really want to finish them off, just take a knife and shave those or get some sandpaper. Yeah. You know, that's pretty normal for something like this that comes in a big mold. But uh, just be aware of that. That's a great way to finish the toy off. And that's what we did with their purple and green ones and uh, red and orange ones. I trimmed all those down myself after they spent the time to put them all together. Looks like you're getting the pins out right now. Yep. I just finished getting the pins. Got all your pins out? Yep. Look at all oh. those little pink pins. Nice work. There's a good idea when you're keeping where you keep your knives mm -hmm. is just save the bag and keep keep them in there. Oh yeah, because they come in this neat little bag and it's a good little storage space for your knife. Yes, and also the extra pins. Yeah, true. Because you have might that. Get lost. You have that extra pin. You don't want to lose it in case it uh, in case one of the original ones gets lost. I think your little sister's gonna like that. Yeah, I know. She's she is. How's how old is your little sister? Two. She's two years old, I'm which is a lot younger than the. Let's see what it's on here. Yep, for ages seven and up. But she is two years old. But has she been able to work these toy knives? Yes. yes. She has actually, hasn't she? She's been yeah. wanting hers for the past week. Yeah, she has. She's really been envious of your guys' knives. And really yeah. excited to try one herself. And when you guys hand her this yellow and pink one, the pink she's and yellow gonna one, so excited. she's going to flip out, isn't she? Yep. Yeah. She's going to love them. 
So bear in mind that they are for ages seven and up, and I don't think that she would be able to put these together by herself. Which no. Is. And also those little parts are probably a little dangerous. Since there's yeah, since there's those little pins, be a little dangerous. So if you're gonna let somebody under seven play with one of these, definitely supervise. Anything else you want to talk about with these knives? No, not really. But they really are cool. really cool. Maybe thanks for sending us these knives. Oh yeah, who do They're we who awesome. do we say thank you? Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, thanks, thanks Nathan. to Nathan and his dad, right? Mm -hmm. He was, and also come up with some black ones. Come up with some. They do have black ones, actually. They made wow. some black ones. Yep. But um, it was pretty cool, though, because we'll, we'll mention that real quick. That Nathan and his dad, what did I tell you that they watched? Our, Our video, video about making the wooden knives. knives. So yeah. they sent us these knives. That well, I don't know if Nathan did, but I know that his dad saw it. And he said, that was a really cool video. And do you think your kids would like putting together some plastic Ooh. ones? I said they would love it, and so he sent me a handful of plastic ones to put together. You should yeah. also make some real metal ones, just like as dull as these, so they're not oh, too sharp. Oh, interesting. Interesting idea. You know what I would love to see? Here's what I would love to see, guys. You know how this, these knives right here have what's called a back lock on them? Yep. And it works really well, and it's a great way to teach kids how to be safe with back lock knives. But I think it would be really cool... Glenn, if you were able to come up with a frame lock knife, a trainer frame lock knife that kids could put together and learn how to operate a frame lock. Frame lock or liner lock, from the operator's standpoint, it's roughly the same thing. But I would really, I would think it's really cool if you were able to come up with that. Now that's a little challenge. Definitely going to be some engineering to do there to make that come together. But if you could make that happen, man, it would be cool. Until then, I think the Trigger Knife Kit by Klecker Knives is super awesome, and you should get some for your kids. They're around 10 bucks per kit, and uh, I think it's well worth buying a handful of them so that you can mix and match and have a lot of fun with them. Mm -hmm. Don't you guys think so? Yeah. Did you guys have fun putting them together? Just one color is not much fun. Well, it's kind of, it's still very cool. Yes. It's still cool, but, but if you know, have mix and match is the best. It's sort of boring. If mix you get, and match yeah. is awesome. Mix and match is sweet, isn't it? Well, this has been the late Boy Scout with Bow Shadow and Hawkeyes showing you how the trigger knife kit goes together from Klecker Knives. This has been fun, huh, guys? If you, you guys just excited take to have away these? the black mm -hmm. and the pink, mm -hmm. it's a rainbow of knives. <laughs> it is. It's a rainbow of knives. Say bye. See ya.